This is a car loaded with a new system. Now let's demonstrate how to connect the wireless CarPlay. First of all, let's go to Setup and then select Smartphone option and click Smartphone list to open the CarPlay option in the Smartphone settings screen. Open CarPlay option in Smartphone setting interface. First open your phone settings, turn on Bluetooth, and pair your phone with your car's Bluetooth. After successful connection, it will automatically enter multimedia interface. Option to use map function and music software to play music. Next, we'll look at how calls are answered when using CarPlay and with the stock car. At this point, we play now music play the, and when we need to enter the, the call, we just need to press the enter button on the steering wheel to talk normally. Plus, play the key. Hello? Hello? I hear you? The bye music bye. continues to play after the call ends. At this point, we use the original radio function normally. When we need to enter the phone, just press the answer yeah, button on the steering wheel. Now I you can talk turn on the radio, FM radio. Now the call phone. Here. Hello? Hello? I hear you? Okay. Next, let's take a look at the demo of wireless Android Auto. Again, we need to turn on the Android Auto option in the smartphone settings screen. Open your phone settings, turn on Bluetooth, and pair your phone with your car's Bluetooth. After successful connection, it will automatically enter the Android Auto interface. Option to use map function and music software to play music. Next, we'll look at wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto connections. Note. To use wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto, you need to connect the cable to USB in one and use the original cable. Connect the data cable to the phone CarPlay will automatically connect. At this time, we can choose to use the map function and music software to play music. It will play the music. You can use the Label control the cable menu such as music. Wide Android Auto can be used in the same way as CarPlay by connecting the cable to the phone. Now let's take a look at the iPhone wireless casting and wired casting method. We need to turn on iOS mirror and airplay option in the smartphone setting screen. We'll start by connecting to the car's Wi-Fi with a cell phone. Open your phone's control center and click on the screen mirror icon. Once the connection is successful, you can play the video from your phone normally.
Wide mirror lane just needs to connect the data cable to your phone and it will connect automatically. Now we look at the Android phone screen casting method. Android phone screen casting need to scan the screen QR code, download and install auto link app can be used. First of all, we need to open the auto link option in the smartphone setting screen. We need to turn on the Wi-Fi and then enter auto link app. Connect to the Wi-Fi in the car. You can successfully cast the screen. Android phone wired screen casting only need to connect the data cable to the phone. APP will automatically connect. Then you can cast the screen successfully. Now let's demonstrate how to use a USB flash drive to play video music. We connect the USB flash drive to the car and it will play the videos and music from the flash drive normally. Note, the maximum video supports 72RP. Now we can play 108RP video experiment. You can see that it is enabled to play. Now we can switch to the music and listen to it. You can hear that it works fine. Our steering wheel can also be used to control the switching of the music and the adjustment of the volume. Okay. Next we'll see how the door information closes. Every time we open the door, we will be prompted to open the door. We can slide down to car settings in setup to turn off front door setting and rear door setting. Front door setting and rear door setting can be turned off. Now we open the door and we can see that the prompt will not appear on the screen anymore. Let's set the OEM card resolution. Open the OEM card info and see that ours is displayed normally because we have already selected the resolution before. We can slide down in the setup to find card settings. Select original car screen resolution, choose the original car screen resolution and select the resolution of your original car. You can see that the original display is wrong. Let's reset him back to the correct resolution. Now you can see that our display is normal.
Next, we can look at the auto alert setting in the manual alert setting. Auto alert setting just need to slide down to find car settings in setup. Select auto switch to where you have, and then you can choose according to your car. Now let's learn how to set up the manual AUX. First go to main menu and select multimedia. Then select external devices. Press and hold the number key 8 and release the tone. When we have no sound in CarPlay, we can press the number 8 key to bring up the sound. Next, set up the backup camera. When we reverse the car and it doesn't show the screen, we can slide down and set up to find car settings, reversing settings, camera settings, and reversing settings. Reversing settings to choose your own camera mode. We have a rear mounted camera on this car, so once you have selected it, turn off the engine and restart it for a bit to use the reverse function properly.